Uh, yeah, here we go, y'all. Hey, y'all. Good evening to everybody. Welcome Hello. to Real Hello. This is open mic night tonight, y'all. We got open mic night. We got special guests coming back. We got Mr. Tyrone in the house. We got Miss Dee Dee in the house. We got Miss Taste in the house. We're gonna have a good show, y'all. I don't know. Hey, huh? We're gonna use Sheila because that's what I put in. Should <laughs> <laughs> I like tasting? <laughs> Here he go. Yeah. <laughs> this real talk, baby. I like tasting Sheila. Which one you want to be? I got and y'all know that we had to go camouflage style. We had to bring it back, go a little military. You know, I got some former military, and then you probably don't date a lot of military guys on uh, Sheila. So you pretty much military if you been with them. So you good. Yeah, my husband retired military. Oh shit. Okay, that's what's up. Damn, you smiling like that. That uniform got you. <laughs> I got messy. We can't, we don't, we got to get into it because I don't want my some of my hosts might have to leave y'all. So we just letting y'all know they ain't just popping out. They just might they got some other stuff they got to do because they getting paid. They getting paid for this shit. Well, Latrina, who Latrina? She still at work. She got kids to get rid of at the daycare. She can't just leave out like that. Them kids got they need they need parenting. Oh, you ain't got to tell me. I'm glad I don't do that no more. I was tired from that too. <laughs> he said, what up, what up, Vaughn? What's up, Miss Gina? Hey, listen. Hey, man. All right, so I'm going to start with Tyrone first, though. I know you didn't want me to, but I am. I was going to do the ladies first, but I'm going to say the ladies. There's more now. than me. What you talking about? Oh, man, because unless the ladies want to go first. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, why are the ladies going? They get first from everything else. What's up? <laughs> I'm just saying, y'all know. Open the door. <laughs> so, ladies, would you like to go first with your first question? That's fine. Okay, lifestyles. When we talk about lifestyles, we want to talk about the people that are living these different lifestyles and they're not who they seem to be. So basically, are they imposters? Are they really who they say they are? You know, or, you know Can lifestyle. you give me an example? An example? Like, um, see, I shouldn't do this, but since you said it, uh, like people that be going to church and they say they holier than thou, but they're really sinners. They're evil. They're really? Dirty. They're dirty. <laughs> you ask. Well, I go first. first oh, no, nah. <laughs> first off, okay, go ahead. Let's go for the sinners, the people in church. Okay. Everybody want to live that lifestyle because they want everybody to think they are holy, and they don't want to be judged or looked at in a different way. <clears throat> so therefore, they're gonna put that pretty image, like a nice purse. I would say. Mm -hmm. You know, if you see a nice purse, it costs so much you want it and you want to go buy it. Same mm -hmm. way with a human being. They want that attention so bad and to be looked up as, as someone very important. So they have to live that type of lifestyle, living a lie, mm -hmm. knowing inside is not true. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I ain't, I ain't saying nothing, Miss Dee Dee. <laughs> so... <laughs> there's a difference between people who are in church and people that are saved okay. right because mm -hmm. you can go to church and not be saved you can go to church and be saved you can be out in the streets and be saved right um i think people from the streets who are living a sinful lifestyle mm -hmm. want to judge folks that do go to church people who have who operate from true salvation from a standpoint of true salvation and sanctification they're not looking at your behaviors. Mm -hmm. Like for me, I'm a sinner saved by grace. There's nothing that I could have done to save my own soul. Nothing at all. Okay. Do I mess up? Absolutely. Do mm -hmm. I care about what anybody else think of me? I don't. Okay. Because the only one that can truly judge me is the Lord. Now, my brother or sister in Christ, and I think I said this on your show before, you did. Um, have a right and an obligation to pull my coattail. They have a right and an obligation to pull my coattail. Okay. I don't think it's so much a double life. It's all a process. The process for salvation is sanctification. You're doing it step by step, day by day by day, minute by minute by minute. The Bible says he daily loads us with benefits. He daily loads us with grace and mercy every single day. It's not that people are trying to, they're trying to live their life. Like for me, I'm trying to live my life pleasing to God. Trying to. Um, does that mean that I won't mess up? No. 
The Bible tells us clearly that all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. All of us. Mm -hmm. Whether you've been in church 30 years, whether you've been in church one year, whether you ain't never been in church, we all sin and fall short of the glory so of God. The sinners, at your level, you, the sinners at your level, do they get the judge? What do you mean at my level? You said it was different <laughs> levels of sin. No, you said it was <laughs> <laughs> hey, you, know, I, you said you were a sinner through something. Run that back. You said you were like uh, I said I'm a sinner saved by grace. Saved by grace. Yeah. But you saying those other people can pull your coattail. Other folks that are that believe in Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. Right. They can, it's okay for them to pull your coattail. Absolutely. But the people on the other side who's not like that, and excuse me, on the street, like whatever, they can't check you. Like, oh, you just propping up. What do you mean checking? Like, what is their measuring stick? Because the people that the people the people the, that the people, the people, the people that you, say, huh? The people you said that was okay to poke poke at you or judge you. I don't think they have either. I don't yes. think they have either. They do. They do. Biblically speaking, I'm going by the Bible. I'm going by the Bible. That's my authority. That's what I'm standing on. Oh, biblically okay. speaking, oh, biblically no, speaking. Y'all working in levels. You see what I'm saying? No, it's not levels. Yeah, it's me. not levels. Mm. Biblically well, speaking, right. they have a right and an obligation. They have an obligation to be like, sis. I can't do that if I see you wrong. Is what I'm saying. I can't come to you and say, you know, sister, your dress is just too short to be in church like this. Um, having a short dress exactly. is a sin. Having no, a short I'm dress saying, is a sin. I use that example. Oh, okay. Whatever it may be, it's a sin you're doing. I don't know. You could be whatever. <laughs> so that's you could be still in a Walmart. Hey, sister, look. You know what I'm saying? I, that's too extreme. But you know what I'm saying. If I checked you on an item, but I'm not that person that did you in church, you wouldn't respect what I'm saying, right? So because I go because I use the Bible as my authority, it says, "Judge not, lest ye be judged." The measure you use will be measured unto you. What's your measuring stick for judging me? Me, I. The hope is this is the hope is that other believers in Jesus Christ will judge me according to the Bible, not according to their opinion, not according to what they think they know about people that are saved, not according to your experience. They are judging me according to the Word, where the Bible says this is, but you're doing this. You know what you write, or I might not even like it. But why, but, are we even judge, but why are we even judging lifestyles? Shouldn't people be able to live the way they want? If you want to live a dog, yeah, exactly. if you want to be whatever, shouldn't you be able to do yeah, what you want to do where, without stone. worrying about somebody um saying or even correcting you about your lifestyle? If like what if I like for instance, what if I what if I like being a gigolo in the daytime, but I like being a family man at night? Who's there to judge me and tell me about my lifestyle and say I'm living wrong? The no Bible one. says the Bible tells us to work out your own soul salvation. <laughs> so what I'm not going to do is sit there and worry about your salvation. Right. The only time that I personally, Delanda, will personally correct somebody uh -huh. is if I have that relationship with them. So Aries, if we're mm -hmm. tight and you have confessed and professed, mm -hmm. Right, mm -hmm. I am going to say something to you according to what the Bible says, not my opinion. Even if I'm a gigolo, if I want to be a gigolo, yep, you gonna say, ask me why I'm gigoloing? That's my, that's why I'm making my money. <laughs> how you? Yeah, how you? I mean, it's my, that's my job. So how are you gonna ask me that? If that's my, if that is my income, Easy. if that's my, Easy. but that's my source of income. Okay, and because we're friends and I know you, I would be like, okay, but you have other skill sets too. And it's my skill set to bunk them and fuck them. Oh. I'm just saying, because I got a partner. The reason that question was asked, I have a partner right here, right now. That's what he's going through. Everybody keeps coming to him, jumping on him, because he's a gigolo, but he's a family man at nighttime. His right. wife ain't got right. no problem with him being a gigolo, but he, that's their finances. But what I'm well, saying, I can so, relate, so I can relate to that. Go ahead, you know, go ahead. I can relate to that because in the daytime, I had a, a regular job <laughs> doing my job, you know, and then at night, I was a jiggler. You was a stripper. I, I was a jiggle too. But everybody was a judged me and they got to the point where they came, they started judging me and started bringing this stuff to my job. Damn. And saying, how can yeah, you work at this job 
doing this, knowing you do this at night. I say, well, if I could do both jobs good, why not? When I'm just paying <laughs> So I end up stopping that second job at night, which was that gigolo, because it had got so bad where people was jealous and hating me where they got right. defects on me wow. trying to get my children. So that's wow. the reason. But I did do it for six years straight, and I enjoyed the money. And and if I can do it again, with and nobody head. be judging me, <laughs> right. I'll be more glad. <clears throat> right. Miss Glow Ooh. said, the Bible also says, <laughs> mind your own business and work quietly with your hands, just saying. <laughs> yeah. You're right, Miss Glow. Glow. Right. Glow. That's why, right. that's why I wouldn't come to anybody that I don't have a relationship with. Right. 10 times out of 10, the only time that I'm going to even offer any amount of correction is because we have the relationship and I know they'll right. receive it. I got you. And I'm not going to none of y'all to tell y'all about your life. Right. Well, all the way I accept the um, correction, somebody front me about what I'm doing, unless they going to pay my bills and give me the money right. that I'm making at night. And, and if I, I know stop. that about you, if I know that about you, I wouldn't say nothing to you. So now, so okay, Miss Dee Dee. So that's because that's calling throwing my pearls to swine. I got you. I got you. Yep. that's why that's what I was getting. Yeah, I got you. Cause I'm yep. telling you, I used to do that too. Um, uh, she like in the army when I was at Fort Hood. I know I don't know if Miss Dee Dee knew, but it, they had a lot of Tyrone was there. I used to I used to do strip. I used to do the little strip dance at um uh, City Life. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did my. I did, I, hey. I did mine at Let's private party because, yeah, me and, because men used to go to the bar and spend four and five hundred dollars on alcohol. So they liked me. So why not use them? I give them a dance, they give me their money. Instead of alcohol, they give it to me. Right. I mean, I, I'm with you. I'm just saying, I just don't know why that. I, I mean, I, I didn't I, care who judged my lifestyle. Yeah, I can't just come to you and ask about what you're doing with your life. Right, right. I don't believe in that. No, yeah, we can't. need to be friends. Like the, the people that I roll with, they have every right to come to me and be like, sis. Like, we like you know my situation, Ari. I got you, yeah. You right. They have every right to be like, sis, don't play with fire. Don't play with fire. You got a calling on your life. You got this going on. You know, you've been called to teach to millions and blah, 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 blah. Right. So their concern is for not just my my salvation and my, and my, um, my salvation is also for my call and my assignment. We each have a different assignment. Gotcha. My assignment might not be for me to correct you. Live your life. Do y'all know how many strippers and prostitutes that I would talk to when I was in church? Yeah. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. And not once. Not once. Doing a day. What? What's he not <laughs> once. Did I ever condemn them? Right. Not once did I ever condemn them for what they did. That was of no consequence to me. Okay. Don't care about your activity. Gotcha. I want to talk to you about your soul because I love your soul that much. Your activity matters nothing. Gotcha. I mean, I get it. That's what I said. I got you. I'm with you. I mean, I got you. I'm. That's why I can't even say nothing else about it. I just don't bother people about their lifestyle. I don't just say too much about it. I let people do them, and then and that's just it. I can't even really, I can't even put an opinion on it or nothing because I you don't know what somebody's doing. Like I said, you don't know what life, people are going through. Yeah, you can't just exactly. come in. I just can't come to you and be like, "Oh, stop doing that," and I don't know you. That doesn't make sense to me. That's not always well received. I have an aunt that does that actually. I got an uncle that does that shit. Yeah. Gets on my damn nerves with that shit. That, and then anyway, while we talking about that, that was going into the next question. In <laughs> <laughs> y'all, hey, listen, some of y'all might not can't answer this question or hear about it, but we, we finna talk about it tonight. Um, <laughs> the next one was family members. Hey, man, what family members? What is what I say? Oh, here you go. Family members you don't deal with. Someone asked. You know what's the issue with like most of us? What family members you just really don't deal with? Like you know, like what caused it for you not to really deal with them? If we yeah, to they, they they think they better than you and want to put up put themselves on a high pedestal, thinking they could do this better than you and they better than you and want to judge you. Well, I sure got that. I got that. I can tell you about it. I got I got brother. I got brother and sister like that right now. I can't even deal with them right now. I mean, I, we come close is when it's a funeral. That's the only time we. Yeah, they don't even. They don't even show up for that. Mm. 
I listen, I'll tell my dig on my story right here, right quick, y'all. So my brother passed last year. He passed in March. Uh, he passed from cancer and stage four, had it for 10 years. So, and I know my family on here, they probably gonna say something and get mad, but I don't care. But anyway, like I said, it's real talk. But anyway, <laughs> so we do we get the funeral and everything set up. And uh, I tell my oldest brother, I say, hey man, you gotta show up for the funeral. He calls and said, if y'all don't come get me, I ain't coming. So I called my sister and I said, hey, you know, when, when the funeral is and everything, my sister, I'm telling you, I went through this shit all last year and it still bothered me. My sister said, I ain't coming because I don't want to see him like that. I said, you ain't going to even see him because he cremated. So wow. the day of the funeral, everybody there, they, my oldest brother, they did not come to, uh, to my baby brother's funeral. Now y'all tell wow. me, that's some sad shit. Your own, your own siblings don't even come to your brother funeral that y'all always call when you needed some when your ass was locked up in jail for 16 13 years but you always call my brother he's sending you money while you in there then my sister when she needed shit he always there for you and your kids and your kids and my brother didn't have no kids he just had a wife and he dealt with that council for 10 years after they told me we we're gonna die with them too yeah. it's long and you telling me we all family, but your own brothers and sisters don't even come to your funeral. Y'all don't know how to make me feel for the whole year. Whole year. So I just don't deal with them. I, I'm sorry. I had to pray to God about it. And I don't, I don't deal with them. That's my hey. only I don't deal with them. First of all, let me say I'm sorry for your loss. And I'm sorry that you had to endure that. Mm -hmm. um, that's tough. Mm -hmm. People grieve differently. People grieve differently. And a lot of times, if you notice, people who don't show up sometimes are the ones that feel guilty behind whatever, for whatever, for whatever reason. Right? But people oh. really different. They are handling it the way they're not, they're not you. They're not Aries. And they're going to handle it differently. Listen, Miss Didi, I hear you. But you don't been to other people's funerals. But it's not my brother. It don't matter. Ain't no excuse. I still, like, I can't deal with him. I don't talk to him. I don't call him. I don't talk to him. And, and I, I tell y'all right here on real live talk. Y'all think I'm joking. I said to y'all because I've already said it. But it ain't like I'm hiding anything. And I don't care. Who, I know they don't hear. I don't care who get mad. I tell y'all this. If my oldest brother died tomorrow or my sister, I would not go. They couldn't. Nobody couldn't call me and say, "Hey, hey, they died." I get what I tell them. You better call the state. They'll do whatever they got to do for me. Cause I ain't going, and I'm not showing up. And I mean that. I'm serious. I'm telling y'all this straight up. I mean that. I meant that from the day when it happened. That's my reason, that's my real talk live right there tonight. And I'm telling and, you. And the reason you won't be going is because they didn't show up to the brother. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you think two wrongs make a right? It ain't nothing. Got nothing on, to, it ain't got nothing. On, to, it ain't got nothing to do with two wrongs make a right because I didn't say they was wrong. I said they didn't show up. I ain't say they were wrong. I said they didn't come. So regardless, so regardless of their situation, why they didn't show up, you gonna hold that? Uh, you gonna hold them accountable for it and not show up for their funeral when they pay? I'm not holding nobody accountable for anything. I'm just not going. I don't. I don't yeah. care. They didn't I mean, care about him, so I don't. I don't care about it. I'm not going. Period. But you do care, though, Aries. No, I don't. Aries, so, so Aries, your personality. You know what I just say? If they Aries, tell me that they died today, they Aries call four. right now while we on live. I'll be like, well, y'all better call the state of Georgia and tell them y'all better figure out what y'all do. What y'all calling me for? That's Aries. exactly what I would do. Period. Aries. Aries. That's not your. That's not your personality. You're doing that as a retaliation. That's Man, not who you are. Y'all not, not listening. Aries, that's not who you I'm, are. I'm not Aries, retaliating. You, I'm just Aries, not. You are kind. You are a kind person. I know you put on the hard exterior, but that is not who you are. It has nothing to do with that, Miss Didi. I understand yes, what y'all saying. I'm not doing it. I'm not what doing was the it. relationship before that's happened? What was your relationship before? Man, all my brothers and all of us are all, all of us. Man, do you know, you understand how we grew up? You will understand. We all, hey, listen, y'all know how we all probably don't came up back in the day. We back in the 70s and shit. Y'all know. 
Yes, yeah, so y'all was close before the funeral. So we like going. this, and for all the stuff we don't do, because we already lost my mom and my dad. We, we all lost it, so it's just us. We don't deal with the rest of the families like that. We got other family, but we only deal with certain parts. You see what I'm saying? So, but when my mom and daddy passed, we all was like, you know what? This all we got, just us. And then for them not to do that, to come with no excuse, they didn't have no reason, man. He was in Atlanta. The funeral was in Macon. Atlanta is 45 minutes from Macon. My sister was in Albany. She's a hallway 20 minutes away. You ain't got no reason you couldn't came. I showed up. I don't care what they're going through. I'm just telling y'all, I'm not going to nothing that they have. That's what I'm telling y'all. That was my the question and everything asked. So I'm just giving y'all my ass. Yeah, yeah. Sheila gave her as I'm at. It ain't gonna change me. It's it's you're not gonna change me. But it already has changed you. It didn't change me. No, what it changed yeah. was it, it did what I said at the end of the course. What the end of the course? It said family members you don't deal with. I don't deal with them, so it didn't change anything. I just don't deal with them. And how long this been going mm -hmm. on that you haven't deal with them? A whole since, year since, since yeah. my brother, yeah, since he died in March last year. Yeah, yeah, that's still fresh for you. I baby. never, I you never even told Tyrone about what happened. I, I really, that ain't is told Tyrone, nobody. right? That is fresh. So, yeah. it's just some time, you know what? Most time, time heals a lot of stuff, so time ain't healing nothing over here because I'm already. I was healed. just about to say. Time don't people say time is time, time don't heal me. You. you know, so God is wounds, baby. <laughs> yeah. Let me give the you Lord time. Let me still give yeah. me time. See what I mean? <laughs> See, I'm like what Miss Glow said. She said, but that is it. That's my feelings. And she said, I get why why be fake. I'm not gonna, I'm telling y'all. It had yes, I love my brother and my sister. I love them, right? I know you do. But they love my brother. Is it had it had nothing to do about nothing else. Listen, listen, man, we can all go, we do everything else we want to do. And it's like when people don't want to do certain things, they don't do it. It doesn't matter. Like, why people don't come visit your ass when you live, but they can show up for your damn freedom? There you go. That's I'm true. Saying, You're right. You know why? It makes, it makes no sense. They want to make sure you're dead. They're going to make sure you're really dead. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you're a hater. Yeah, hater. Yeah. Make me pop a hater. You're going to make me pop And I get that. But that's crazy, ain't it? You got motherfuckers you ain't seen in 20, 30 years. But when you, when you die, them same mother, they show their ass up at your funeral. Exactly. Well, I always said, if you can't give me my flower while I'm living, don't give it to me where I'm dead, cause I damn sure can't see it. Right, and that's why when the question was asked, I can't deal with that. I got uncles and aunts I don't deal with right now. It's you see, my whole point of that question was, it's sad that we always talking about family. But do y'all ever understand? If you weren't in the position you are in right now, how many y'all could just call a certain family member that y'all don't even deal with and ask them for something without them questioning you? Just ask them for twenty five dollars without them saying, "When you gonna pay me back?" Well, what you gotta do? You can't. We, that's what family is supposed to be for, right? But you can't even call family. You gotta call a friend or something. Hey, boy, the way they better go. The way they better go. If you call me, you my family, and you ask me for my money. Oh, we! I need to know. I got three kids. I need Tyrone, to know where my dollars I'm going. So they don't want to know when I'm short. I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about no thousands. Like I'm talking about like. No, I'm, I ain't even talking about a hundred. I need to know where my money going. Because I agree. You, know, you might be on drugs. Right. You might be having no habit. Right. Okay, well, let me rephrase this. I'm, what I'm what I'm saying when it comes to the family, I'm saying like, why have we changed so much? That family ain't like it used to be at all, though. Well, Aries, when's it gonna when's it gonna change? That changes with you. You already talking about you not showing up. I don't need to because they didn't change that. It ain't gonna never get that back. You can't get back my, the funeral. You can't get back what you missed on that. You can't get that back. So that you can't okay. get it back. You can't get it back. But Aries, you don't have to be like them. Is what I'm saying. No, change the narrative, Aries. Change the narrative. Yeah, the narrative got changed when they didn't show up. Aries, you you are you are a genuinely caring person. Genuinely, Man, I can see past all of this hardness that you're trying to show. I know, DD, show no, I'm, not, I'm telling y'all right now, I do this. I'm not. I'm not. Listen, you haven't known me that long. Tyrone been knowing me over twenty some years. I have been this way. 
And I'm telling you. But he's tearing, though, though. Right? No, uh-uh. When I cut a shit loose and I say on well, the man, fuck, that's I'll it. I'll tell you this. Tyron be for real. He would do with a situation. I witnessed this shit before, so. <laughs> I just found out about this situation. Yeah. I didn't know. You He's know telling I mean? you the truth. That's Every funny. time I have cut, yeah. I, when I cut you, when I cut you, or if I say I'm done with something, I'm done. When done. I've been married, when I tell Joe, I don't want your ass no more, I am done. I don't play no games. When I tell you I'm leaving, if I wake up in the morning, I look at, if I wake up and I see Candace ain't doing me right, I will wake up in the morning and look at old turns and say, baby, this shit ain't working. You got to go. Then you got to go. You ain't leaving no more. Yeah, I ain't leaving no more. You got to go. Get your shit together. Um, Miss Glow, Glow has a question in the chat. Miss Glow, it's not about the person in the box. It's about the support of the rest of the family that's living. What is that? It's never about the person in the box. It's about the support of the person that's living. Yeah, the support but, of the people that are living. The other brothers and sisters. The kids that are there. Showing that we are a family. And that we don't have to be stand office with one another. Let's change how we uh-uh. show Let's, up. Let's change how we show up. Miss Didi, let me say this. Let me say this. Like I'm gonna say this. Miss Didi, it goes. Let me let me hear. It. See, I was giving y'all short words. I ain't gonna go with it no more. I'm gonna give you a little bit. Listen, the the nieces and the nephews, like what you're saying, they're supposed to look for them too. Listen, the nieces and the nephews, the ones that was there, they didn't even come. Listen, they were right there. Only a few of them came that, that these are the people that went to my brother and always when he said with that like this, look, they doing this. And he always said, What you need? You need a computer for college, I got it. But you going you don't even show up. They 30 minutes, 20 minutes away. So they didn't so even no, that question would really be for Aries. That question wouldn't be for me. Because now the question is, he don't know that they're not there. So now it's basically, Aries, your feelings are hurt. Your brother's feelings aren't hurt. Well, my feelings was hurt. They your were feelings hurt. are hurt, exactly. But so only you can change that. So, Ms. Girl, that question is not for the person in the box. That's a question for Aries, not for me. But it's, but it's nothing for that question. It's nothing to change. Because I, I understand what you said, what she just said. I understand what Ty, I understand what you said, Medita. I'm just telling y'all. There is nothing to change in that narrative. They, if they call, I'm telling y'all right now. Hey, listen, God am I with? They call right now. All I'm gonna tell them is y'all need to call the state and do what y'all gonna do. Don't what y'all calling me for? What can we do? Yeah, that's just right, though. I mean, that's a you know what I'm, I'm serious, I mean, Didi. I, I, listen, man. I, what do we just talk about about Facebook, TikTok? Not I, I have met more people on this shit than dealing with the motherfuckers I know and family. I can call Tyrone and ask Tyrone for something before I can call a family member. That's crazy. Listen, That's so, crazy. So my family doesn't even know that I had surgery. Uh, my daughters know, but like my aunts and stuff, you know why? Because I don't want to hear their mouth, number one. That's um, that's but I don't, I don't want to hear all of the extra talk. That's what I, I, agree, I agree. I agree <laughs> with um, DD because my um, Sisters, them didn't find out until after I had my surgery, and only one, only one, no, only two of my sisters reached out. One of my sisters, she never reached out for nothing. I don't, uh-huh. know, what, I don't know why my sister do that. If you was having a surgery, you was huh? I would call my sister if she found she having surgery. You said yeah. she called you because you having surgery. After I had surgery, but the, my other sister, it's four of us. Two sisters reached out and one didn't. And she never reached out. But see? she'll go reach out to people, no kin to her, and see how they doing, go take them food, drink, whatever. That made me feel bad. What What in the hell have I done to my sister that <laughs> damn bad? That's my point. Damn reach out and see how I'm doing. At least care. I don't give a damn if you don't care. Let's give right. me the opportunity to damn call and say, you need anything? When I when you needed something, your ass was there. I That's gave right. you this. I kept your ass from getting What put was out. the level I, of the surgery? Was it life or death? Yeah, I, I, yeah. I had cancer. Oh, yeah. I had to come see you. See? But if, but if, but if your ass was I was down, diagnosed with cancer, too. too but this is the other part. My, my co-workers, my boss, everything. Been there for me than my own family. They ain't offer and say, 
But do a, do this dog need a bone? Do this <laughs> dog you. need something to drink? Thank you. That make me feel hurt. Thank and then you. they wonder why I'm there for people that's not no kin to me. No, two wrongs don't make a right, but this is a touchy situation. Because I'm is. in tears now because I felt my system could have came. Yeah. Mm. And my son, that's but why I feel my about, But, but I know for a fact, if I die, they're going to be over here with my children yeah. because they know my life insurance policy. See? Well, look, but, but Sheila, Tasty. Yes. If they called you and they needed you, would you be there for them? You would, wouldn't yes, you? Yes, I always Absolutely. did that from day one. Absolutely. I don't, because because that's who you are. Anything else, anything else killed. is not true. Her, her boyfriend true. was beating on her. I jumped yeah. in front of the gun for her to keep her getting shot by her own boyfriend. Yeah. I've been there from day one. Yeah. Yeah. But see, that's 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 she look different. She's different for her, and I and, and me for me, and that's why I, I'm sorry for that. I'm, I'm sorry. And the only reason, only reason I'm still there because I gave my life to Christ. In order for me to move on and have a better life or any blessings, I got to learn to forgive. But I think I'm sure ain't forgot it. No, you don't have to forget. You don't have to forget. But Tasty, I feel for you. I feel for you. I'm, I promise you, we can't let these situations change who we are. Like it would be out of character for me if well, it's not out of character for me. Not a character for me, though. No, no, no. That's what I'm saying. It's not out of character for me. I'm saying it's for me. Who I am. But Aries, it seems like it would be out of character for you to not show up because that's oh, who you are. No, my family knows me. You cannot. Let me tell you something. I'm a snake. If you cut my ass, I'm still moving. I'm that mug that you don't want to cut. Because either way, I'm going to pause in your ass. So they know this. They know this about me. They, and my character ain't changing. I've, I've always been like this. What I'm saying to you is, what you did was wrong. And I'm not, it ain't about no two rights or wrong with me. What I'm telling you is, this is my way of doing what I've always been like. And I'm not, do, I'm just not entertaining them. I'm not mad. I'm not mad with them. I'm not. I'm not mad with them. I don't have to ask for their forgiveness. I don't have to say, yeah, I forgive them for I don't I, it ain't got shit to do with that. I'm telling you, I I'm not going. <laughs> I got okay. I come to your shit. That's a that's your way. Right. Don't say it for God for me. I'm just saying. Yeah. I walk by yeah. You better. You better because I'm coming back. <laughs> uh, you better. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> and look, there's a lot of good on self for everyone. Nobody else. That's how it is, too. I see Trina is calling. I'm just saying, man, it's it's real. This shit is real, man. But see, this is stuff nobody never talks. So, Taste, I'm sorry you even had to go through that. But see, I've been going through it all year, and I got friends like Tyrone. I just never said that to them about it because it hurt that bad. That they're my own brother. I'm talking about my brothers. My brother and my this the oldest. And then this my baby sister. And y'all telling me y'all can't come to the funeral? Your own brother funeral. You 40 minutes away. I can I'll fly to Ty, I'll fly to San Antonio if something happened to Tyrone. All they got, all his kids gotta do is tell me something happened to her, and I'll tell you. You see what I'm saying? But we talking about family. The family don't even do this. You know what I'm saying? Oh, right baby right. I don't know. That she... baby not crying. That baby hollering. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what he hollering for. You will put a bill in his mouth. You better put something in his mouth. That baby hollering. <laughs> but, yeah, <laughs> but, in the, in the mouth. I hear you, Ari. I hear you. Know you. It's like, just I... that. And we're all different. So all of us are different. Our experiences have made us different. I'm the type that, although I didn't tell my family about my um about my surgery, yeah. And I knew that people who are here, my friends that are here, would be here. They were here yesterday, making sure that I had everything, making sure I walked, making sure I took my medication, taking me to my procedure, bringing me home. Um, I don't want any negativity, but I deal with them. I still deal with them because that's just who I am. I'm not the type of person that can just cut you off, even though it's not reciprocated. I'm not. The, I'm not the type of person that looked for um reciprocity in our relationship. I'm gonna give, give, and give. I'm not looking for you to be there when I need though. I'm not looking for that. 
But do you not, not? You might not be capable. But do y'all not? Do you not know though? Just because I don't want to deal with you, it's it's nothing to say I'm wrong. No, yeah. I didn't say that. Because guess what? We stop you feel how you feel. Less. We stop dealing with a lot of people in our life. Y'all don't deal with your ex yeah. no more. You probably don't talk to none of the ex boyfriends or the ex. So nobody can say I'm wrong. But we don't. We we stop dealing with who we want to deal with. Y'all don't I that. deal with people who deal with me. You That's don't right. deal with me. I don't deal with you. Right. Point blank, people. Period. So we can't say I'm wrong for it. I'm just saying. I didn't say you're you know, wrong. Who, you're not wrong. wrong. Just, you're not wrong. I'm not with the two rights or wrong way. I'm just saying because we don't stop dealing with a lot of shit in our life. When it ain't, listen, if it ain't positive, I don't want it. That's what my what they did was negative. I don't want it. So I don't deal with it. Eric, I'm not saying you wrong at all. It is, it, it is what it is. with people is when I'm in church or at work. Because when I go home, I'm at peace. Don't nobody walk in that door but the person who live in there. <laughs> I tell people all the time, if I can't come home and it's peaceful, I don't know what the hell I got. Because everything else outside this house, that's hell for me. But if I can't come in my own house and it's peace, I don't know what I got. I got to be able to come home to the peace in here, but that's why I don't worry about it. But you know what? It's like you said, it's still fresh, but I just know me. I ain't changing you know, God forbid something happened to him, but that's just the way it is, y'all. I don't know, T, you ever had, you ain't got nobody because you say you you talk to everybody in your family. Man, I'm good with my family. We're gonna have some ups and downs, but that's what I'm saying. We went through our yeah. shit and was good, you know. Shit. Yeah, yeah. You the only one. You a no, man, I haven't had nothing that I stopped talking. I don't have nobody I stopped talking to. You know what I mean? I said you, know, you missed the family. <laughs> she said you missed the perfect. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm just saying, you know, like I said, we've been through shit before, but we're talking about you don't fuck with them at all. I don't mess with them at all. But over time, you know, either. we let that bullshit fall aside. That's how I've whipped that with shit in my family. See, yeah, I'm like, I can't. I'm like, it don't bother like, you after a while. You know, after a while, it just doesn't bother me no more. A little yeah. shit. You know? Well, that's what I'm saying. That's why I don't, that's why I cut them off. Because it don't but Yours is big. Yours is big and fresh. You can't see past that yet to get there. No, so I can Tyrone. I can see all that shit. He said, he said you can see it, right? I, hey, listen, man. I, I, know know you know. Know. I, I have told I you. you man. Hey, listen. I have told y'all before, man. I am what you get. I'm a cut and dry person. I'm telling you, I can see that shit, man. I, I just, listen. I call bullshit with bullshit. I don't give a damn. That's just the way it is. And I told you, sometimes my mama said that's a bad thing on me. She says it's a bad thing because you just don't let up. It's like, you know, a pain of living, losing a parent or something like that. You know, when my mom first passed away, those be years in the beginning was fucking big. Yeah. But over baby. time now, today is my mother's birthday, actually. Today. Oh, happy, so, happy, oh, happy birthday. Over oh, time, happy birthday. Thank you. Over time, you just kind of went those down, but you it's not you're not looking at it as pain no more. It's so for like you've been through it, you know, gotcha. it don't bother as much. Not that I don't think about my mom all the time. Right. It's just that over time your heart just healed a little better, you know. That's what I see. I haven't been what you've been through with something like that, but I'm just saying, you know, that that was traumatic for me, been that that was my mother. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. they got me. But I'm like G, a family can be toxic as hell. Family Family can be toxic. <laughs> so this is what my pastor, says. My pastor says. My pastor says you have relatives and you have family. There you go. I, I agree with that. <laughs> me too. He I said can't you have comments. And you oh, have you family. Can see the comments? Turn your comment on. Didi, she said, Didi, you okay? <laughs> Miss Evelyn, I had surgery yesterday. Aries got me on this show. He know I had surgery yesterday. Yes, I had to bring the queen on. Though. I'm sitting up here. I got Fresh right. Now we know you can't pick family, but you sound you you damn so can choose not to deal with them. You can't pick them, but you can choose not to deal with them. I know that for a fact. I chose mm. not to deal with it because you ain't about to bring no unhappiness up in here. But I appreciate that y'all for uh, talking about that. You special, you Miss Sheila, because I ain't know you were going through that either. Yeah. I guess we both went through some some shit and still going through it because I know I can't call nobody. If I call somebody, tell them I'm sick like Miss Didi or have some shit. They have for them that all they do have some negative. Right, which is why I didn't tell them. I, I didn't tell them. I can't my, call I, my family member, but I can call. No, I'm not talking about my children. Yeah, I'm not talking about my children. I'm talking about like my sisters. 
and stuff like that, or nieces, mm. you know, nephews, stuff like that. Gotcha. Right. But it's all yeah. good. Mm-hmm. All right. We're going to move to the next one. <laughs> so that Didi can get up out of here. Listen, they say, why people get so mad when you tell the truth over a lie? <laughs> I was reading the comment. I'm, like, I'm gonna read it again. I'm gonna say it again, y'all, because somebody might be here. It says, "Why people get so mad when you tell the truth over a lie?" I don't know. <laughs> I don't know okay. that one because I'm used to people. If you tell a lie on somebody, they'll believe that than the truth. Yeah, but I, I had to process that, that differently the way you said it. It's like <laughs> most, most of the time they said, why do people get mad when you lie when you're trying to hurt, not hurt their feelings? Mm. Something like that, you know? You lie, yeah. but you know if you told the truth, they'll be hurt. So I would say that's based out of fear. I'm kind of like what T said. She said, uh, Miss T said, they are not, they're not wanting the truth. I'm with that. So, Eric, for me, you know, my ex-husband accused me of cheating on him. Okay. Right? He wanted me to lie to him to say that I did it. See, that's what it, that's the same as the question. Yeah. He wanted me to lie. To as long as I told the truth that I did not do it. Oh, you wouldn't admit it. Huh? He said he wanted to hear it out your mouth. You wouldn't admit it. I didn't do it. Why can you admit? Why should you admit you did something knowing you didn't do it? Exactly. That's why we're exactly. talking about women do that exactly. to men all the time. Excuse me? <laughs> women do huh? that to men all the time. No, <laughs> men do that a lot. They ask you, you do a lot of shit. You, and most of the time you be like, nah, they do it, but you want him to say, yeah, he did that. <laughs> to say he did right. But yeah, yeah he, he did it. My he heart, did it. In my mind, in my heart. I did do it. If my mind and my heart feel that you cheating, I'm going to say you cheating until God show me otherwise. Yo, mind, no proof. What happened to proof? What happened to proof? You heard what he said? He said, what happened to proof? Oh, what happened to proof? When God showed me. Okay, that part let me give you, let, let you. Me your example. I'm divorced now because my husband uh, was cheating. And if he wasn't cheating, the email proved it. I printed up every email I can. And they slipped. The only yeah, reason, slipped. That, only reason God slipped. showed me because I used to fuss at him every night. Turn that computer off. Turn that computer off. He would never turn it off. I'd be and you left him over that. Work. You left him just over the cheating. No. He, he'd be drinking and stuff and, le and leave the computer on. I worry about the light bill, even though I don't pay it. I walk in that door, that computer on, and I used to get mad, fussing and cussing and everything. But every time I walk by that computer desk, some on that desk fell off. And I say, and I pick it up, I walk by it again, and it fell off again. I said, Oh Lord, God telling me something. So uh, I sat you my ass down in that computer <laughs> chair and looked in and looked at his email, the computer crashed. You hit me? My whole computer crashed. So 2 a.m. in the morning, I went to my friend girl house because I got her key, got on her computer. I be damn. Lady telling me how she enjoyed my husband in bed and everything. They're going to proof. Boom. I paid the lawyer $500 for a turn fee, and I went and got them paid. You divorced him over that <laughs> one event, over that one thing. I don't give a goddamn. <laughs> Just over there, you divorced a man over that. No, 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 no. I <gasps> said I filed the paperwork to show to let him know that I know. So if anything, cause I want that spousal support. Cause he in the military. <laughs> so I guess well, he said, well, if things not gonna be the same, we ain't gonna be together no more. Okay, that's your problem. You ain't gonna be the same, cause you know it ain't gonna be the same. I gotta think about and re relive in my mind. How this woman and my husband don't make love that. You know how that shit made me feel? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I feel you. I wanted to go cheat and have a good time, but I couldn't. Because mm -hmm. at that time, I felt I gave up all the stuff I needed to do when I got married. So I'm at work, enjoying my day at work and everything. Here you go. I guess he got mad. 
Here go the goddamn papers. I'm getting damn served. <laughs> you got served? Yeah, I got served. <laughs> <laughs> I he served you first. <laughs> oh my God. Amazing. That nigga, that nigga, that nigga, that nigga, that nigga, at all. Hey, he did an Al Capone on your ass. <laughs> so, <laughs> so by, by me, by me and him being together and stuff and married, he took me from the projects. My rent went with $35. <laughs> and you took me to a high living ass area. Well, this mortgage got to get paid. Oh, this light sad. bill you got to get paid. Oh, I baby, I bet you when I left, I had, you you living as I, had, I had a nice, I had, I got spousal support. And then I had on every lie he told me, I took a $1,000 out of his bank account until he took my damn name off that goddamn bank account. <laughs> So I've been hey man, all this, all this because he had, all this because he had a affair. <laughs> yeah. And then had a nerve to my, oh, it was a joke. Bag. That you lady messed up the bag over some playing. emotional shit. You messed up the bag. How you messed up the bag? You messed up the bag. No, I ain't because if I want him now, I still could get him and get the money. So is that a truth over a lie or a lie over a truth? The truth over a lie. <laughs> You don't think you could have worked through that incident? Maybe some counseling before you go. Excuse me, what's up? Excuse me, what's up? Excuse me, Tyrone. It takes two to work it out. Yes, I wanted to work it out. Oh, but I told him straight up, as far as us being intimate again, that might going to take a while. Well, that was the wrong thing to say, ma'am. That was the wrong thing to tell him, though. You might. I shouldn't have told him, but. But me no, being yes. me, but me being me, he going every day to work, and this damn bitch work. You well. know you supposed to step your game up after that. Some other chick came in, you supposed to step it up. You don't fall back and let the, the chick win. That was your family. That was your unit. You supposed to stood up. If I got a bad guard on the team, and he not, she not hitting the well, ball. Get what? 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 He mad or too? That's what I'm saying. She winning. Why you you could have worked for her? Hold up. You hold up. 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 Hold he divorced her ass too. She ain't winning. Because he ain't having that and bullshit. If, Listen. If, <laughs> and if anything Listen. happened, if anything happened, get what? I'm still getting the money. You told her wrong. You said no more alone. intimacy between you and I because of that. You can't do that part. You supposed to really step your game up when you saw somebody out doing your outside job. You go, oh no, you can't let that bitch win. <laughs> That's what you should have been like. That was your family. Hold up now, hold up. Wait a minute, T. Hold up, hold up. To her defense, hold up, man. To her, the, come on now, come on now. You know that ain't how that shit. I really. ain't finna look like no damn fool for no. You damn want to know what it looked like? See, you let it get out your house. You could have kept. Y'all could have contained that. You don't worry about why, 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 why I'ma live a life of uh, happiness when I ain't damn happy. That's true. Yeah, that's, I can't worry about that. But I'm going to live a life. Like, you said you wanted to keep me. You said you wanted to work on it. You said you wanted to work on it. Like you said you wanted to work on it. 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 Uh, I know, She's man, but it is competition. No competition. She's She's right. Right. What is she talking about? As you a white, right. there is no competition. No competition. This lady, you said you said that you was willing to work it out. That's why I said that. If you said you weren't gonna want to work it out, I get it. Got it. I see but you me. said I want to work it out, but said okay, mm -hmm. we're not gonna be into no more. Than I mean, you you. Work that out. Yeah, he, he, I, I got you, I got you now. I didn't hear that part. I see what he said. Well, he didn't want to work it out because if he wanted to work it out. Them papers got to me. That's why he said he, he he at the top of the yeah, but I might the body. You told a man. I, I, okay. <laughs> the truth All right. You a told a man you was locking down the cat and everything. It ain't gonna be the same up in here. That was reversal. What I think <laughs> yeah. you should did if you said you gonna work. Hey, I gotta go. Okay, baby. Like, I she got sick. Okay. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, thank you for coming though, Miss Didi. We appreciate thank your love. You. 
Hey, get better, baby. You got. I it. wish you a speedy recovery, thank love. You. Thank you, love y'all. Yeah, this this conversation got my, my recovery well now. I see. <laughs> I never. <laughs> I was, I was hurting, but I ain't hurting no more. <laughs> <laughs> she don't came out of it, love. <laughs> I, I, you can't, I can't you do no food for no man. You don't got Sheila ass up now, boy. She like fuck I, that. I ain't gonna mess with that. That's cool. I feel you, but you know I'm telling the truth. If you was one of the guys, you should have reversed that. You later, Gina. It takes you two to work out a marriage. Oh. It takes two to work out a marriage. Yeah. He, so he, he knew he knew the type of person I was and what type of character I, I could get out of hand. He didn't want that embarrassment, so he had me serve them damn papers and divorce me. So you threatened to mess around after that, right? Like, you going to do your shit, I'm doing my shit. Well, yeah. Cause that well, see, that was I'm scared. Y'all were trying to work it out. Yeah, I got no, 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 no. He no. accused me of, he accused me of messing with a female. He was threatened by a female. <laughs> said, I've been close to this female for so long, so I said, Bro, every time you, we get home, were you messing with, home, were you mess with that female? Were you messing with that female? Is it a truth over a lie? I mess with her after oh, the oh, hey, oh, We don't believe you. We oh, don't believe you. Oh, we don't believe you. Oh, <laughs> Yo, we don't believe you at all. At all. What? He saw no. that. He saw that. He saw he that. that. No, he saw he that. that. He saw that she had me as an interest. Yeah. No, he saw more than that. He saw that we men. He saw it. He saw it, baby. He saw it, Sheila. He saw it. We trying to figure out why you couldn't work that into your game plan, though. It's cool, <laughs> your, your man was tripping like that. I'd have been like, shit. If she, if you really gonna do it, can't we just all be cool? <laughs> Cause you, you, you showed if him you, that you wanted that woman. You did. You showed him that. He my, saw. It. My, Maybe my emotions on the outside did. I can't. I don't yeah. know. I you know did. I was hurt. Yeah. <laughs> After you locked it up yeah, tight, you, you locked it, locked it, locked it tight. After the divorce. Yeah. <laughs> she like. She like. <laughs> she don't mess it up real quick. I know. <laughs> Man, but that's uh, not really I, cheating, though. That's not really cheating, though. Uh, I don't well, know, Ty. He knew something we All didn't I know, know my last words to him was, when you accuse a person of doing something, I did just that. And I enjoyed it. We just broke up two two years ago. Who, you and a girl? Yep. What happened with her? <laughs> she need grow. She, I can't do it. She, she smoked too much and I don't, and drank, and, and that don't got to me. Damn. I didn't know all of that. Damn. I just needed her for a body to please me, and I'd be happy, and then you could go. Get up. Get up out, Sheila. All right, she said, get off, Sheila. Let's get off. I have dealt see. with a man. I have dealt with a man since then. Ooh, wee. Ooh, wee. That dude hurt you. For real. You like. So now you just in, you just use me and now. All righty then. No, I don't deal with a man, period. No, I'm Ooh. saying. Huh? You got to get some money from some man's. Some, some. Well, yeah, I get that from a yeah, man. I just said you use them. What you talking about? Well, I won't, you, I won't say that word because they get my time. I hug them. All that counts. <laughs> Damn. You so, work that again. Hold up, hold up Ty. So, so, hold up, Ty. So, you better be Walmart. Hey, you better Ty, be hold up, green, hold up, Ty. Ty. Well, Ty, I, work at, I work at the hospital. Tyrone. Oh. So, so niggas was buying hugs now. I've been independent since I, <laughs> since I was 18, baby. People buy hugs now. We got to buy hugs now. <laughs> Damn. Them sugar daddies. Those niggas got big pockets. With 13 oh, keys. Oh, it's oh, just, like, like he said, I got attached to the army man. I, it, it's not that I got attached to the army man. I got used to the army money. So, therefore, I got to retire one that... He stay in a house. He stay in a four bedroom house by himself. He ain't got nobody. I can go over there and sit with him and have fun, and I get paid a thousand, two thousand dollars that day. Damn! You need management. <laughs> you seeking management? I do online classes too. <laughs> so my truck, just like my truck, went crank up. He said, "I'm coming from Atlanta." 
I be daddy all fits, and he sure oh, came from Atlanta and fits. Y'all wild, y'all wild in the night. Oh my God, I learned oh, some stuff. God. She, she, I ain't mad at you. I, ain't I, ain't mad. I mean, I've been independent my whole life, so I'm gonna always keep a job that by you know getting paid by the oh, hour. Yeah. But I ain't gonna stop trying to make no money on the side. He's an older gentleman. He's older. <laughs> He's an older guy. He's older than me. I'm 54. He's 57. Oh, y'all right in the same bracket. It's cool. Man. Mm. I just got that, that vision hit me when um set it off when Jada Pickett. Who was it Jada Pickett? It was Jada dude. Pickett. Yeah, he, with the old man in the, the car. Shit out of her, wasn't he? Yeah. he was yeah. just blush fucking. It was like it was crazy. That was just one in my mind when you were saying you just go over there and, you know, Grudging, God, I tell y'all, ooh. <laughs> hey, so the truth over a lie. We yeah, just got, so we it's just a lie over truth because you don't want to be there though. It's a lie over saying, truth. So, 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 which is better? Do you want the truth or do you want a lie? That's lie. They gonna want the lie. Yeah, so that's what I want. The truth. That's what he I'm saying. Want, he he wanted a lie, so I let I let him have it. But it was actually the truth. He got a fantasy. What what is all inclusive in the fantasy he's paying for? What fantasy? I don't live that all my fantasies. No, I'm talking about the dude that's paying you. About the dude that's paying you. What's his fantasies? I mean, he, you going over to watch TV for ten, for ten for ten years. He been wanting to sleep with me. I just can't see it in my head because we've been friends for so long, and I just can't do it. So I did give him the benefit of the doubt and try to sleep with him. But it just it just didn't feel right. It didn't feel like no, oh, oh. I ain't feel nothing. So I can't say it felt right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 damn. Oh, oh, oh. Well, well, <laughs> this one is well. <laughs> Evelyn said, give me the damn truth, but at least just be real. <laughs> Lie to me. <laughs> so did you say, 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 say I mean, say, I told say. him. I told him. I said, you I'm not attracted to you sexually. Mm. But I'll be your friend. TG said, "Get him." Bought me all kind of. He bought me all kind of lingerie, the little fetish, little whips and stuff. Want to have fun? TG said, "Get that man some tail and stop playing with him. Give me that five, five, five. He got whips and chains, man. He for real. If the condom fell out, something wrong. (laughs) What? And I had to take it out of me. (laughs) Oh. So that means something. That means you too damn little. Man, my kids watching yeah, this. What are you doing? Yeah, I'm going to have an extra large. I'm just going to have an extra I'm large condom, and your ass extra, extra small. He's an extra. They sell them like that? Oh, I they know. They got extra large, <laughs> but he need an extra, extra small. <laughs> he must got his clothes side mixed up with the condom. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't right. <laughs> he should have had his little brother t-shirt on down there. That's what he said. She said, and he's a sweetheart. He real oh sweet. God. Man, you see this side? Now you see what I'm saying? See how the truth deals over a lie and a lie of a truth. I told y'all, man, people don't know what they really want. They don't really know. So we mm-hmm. might as well. I, I see why people lie now all the time. Because don't nobody really want they don't want that truth. They don't want that truth. That's crazy. That's well, crazy. I'm not for the lie to no. I'm not for the lie to nobody. If it hurts your damn feelings, that uh, your feelings just get hurt. Cause I'm not for the sit up and make like I'm all enjoying. He said, "Hell, water balloon." Goddamn well, I'm not. <laughs> so I told him the truth. I only had to go through that two times. I had to tell two guys that. That's why I don't. Um, that's why I was telling y'all before, man. You know, like sometimes. You know, everybody used to ask me, how, how old girl still talking to you and stuff like that? I said, listen, I learned. It took me a while. I used to lie all the time to females. You know, man, y'all not with you. I'm not. I did. No, I I'm not me. I'm not. 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 I'm saying opinion. back in my days, I used to do that a lot. And I said, I, try, I learned from it because I'm saying when I used to lie, I was just trying to get the ass. I'm saying when I started learning that if you just say to tell the truth and ask in a truthful way, I can still get it. And that way I ain't got to worry about her coming back, getting mad at me, saying you lied to me about something. I didn't know the shit really worked. So that's why I started telling the truth. <laughs> 
And the shit. Well, I always tell the truth. And don't care if they hurt their feelings. I didn't learn that until. Hey, I'm just saying. I learned it. It took me a minute, but I learned it. I'm gonna tell you one lie. I'm sorry. Yeah, don't believe shit I say. That's what I'm drinking. Because if I do say something, wait till I get drunk again and yeah. give it that motherfucker. Because I ain't yeah. gonna remember. <laughs> I'm telling you something. Man. I used to just go straight up to women and tell the truth. Now and then, guess what? They they rather for me to tell the truth, and I still got it. I used to lie and keep lying just to give it to me. You a bitch a liar? Hell yeah, I was a bitch a liar. But when I started telling the truth, I got it faster. Facts. She said, alcohol tells the truth. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. Tell the truth. Oh, man. Hey, man, but I do appreciate you, though, know, coming on, Sheila, tonight, y'all, man, and uh, answering the question, man. I think a lot of people needed to hear that, hear our story. You know what I'm saying? Because you got me now. You almost had my head about to cry. Don't, don't, don't mm. tell. Boy, you, ooh, Lord. Mm. You almost well, had, I'm, t- I'm telling almost. the truth. I, I got you. I did too. That's why I told them. They ain't going to change that. That's the only reason I told you. That's why I started telling the damn truth. I can't help but telling that. That's why I say you can't ask me something. If you ask me if you're fat, I'm going to tell you you're fat. I ain't finna you fat you. as hell. And that's yeah. the problem. I'm not going to say you big to I'm not. You know what, though? And everybody like, why you won't sleep with him because he's a big man? They ain't got nothing to do with it. They got nothing to do with it. You just you know don't. What? What? what time? We got to get ready to go. This ain't, this ain't got shit to do with y'all talking about. But. Don't you hate if somebody asks to borrow money from you and you have to go to them to get the money back? Hell yeah. I'm going to go back to that family shit with that bullshit. What are you talking about families? That's the kind of shit that's so disrespectful for it me. Is. So you are oh, me down for uh, 50 bucks. Come that day to pay me back. I got to call you for my shit. And then sometimes I get mad. Like, why the fuck you asking for your money back? Well, you know what, T? Y'all okay. know what? I- go ahead. Go ahead, Miss Sheila. Go ahead. Okay, question. First of all, you know when they came to, when they came to borrow that goddamn money from you, you want for to get that shit back anyway. So you better charge that shit to the game as a hell. No, no I, I believe that. But we talking about I'm talking about anybody damn near borrowing money. Sometimes it's off. That's why I, I don't got nothing to money back. I um, let people. Y'all know my it's y'all know my loss. you know my no, motto no, now. This is, this is my that. motto. I don't, I don't. I'd be don't, rich if I could get it back now, at least comfortable if I can get it back. <laughs> Y'all know what People I learned. come with them children. When you have children, they come, they come, they come to me with them children, and they know I had my daycare and I love children. And that was my soft spot. I ain't want to see no children going home. I ain't want to see them put out. I ain't want to see them in the dump. And they use that as an excuse. Man, she, you can't get a pin out in that. Hey, hey, I'm going to tell you right now with you, Sheila. That's me now. And I, listen, I'm saying I help my kids when they need it. You know, I don't help them all the time, but I help them when they need me. But I'm like that, too. People call me now. They be saying, hey, man, you think I'll be like, no. And then if they go in there questioning me, why, why are you? I'll be like, do you question the bank when they tell you no? If you don't question the damn bank when they tell you no, don't question me because it's my money. Exactly. That's it, period. End of discussion. So I got you, Ty. I just mm. I meant to bring that with the family thing, but we just got to the end. So it's all cool, y'all. It's good. It's good. It's it's nice good. seeing everybody. Look, man, what them lungs at? Iron, we call them iron lungs. <laughs> <laughs> but I appreciate you. Just about to let me hold Twitter. I got you, Miss T. I see you. You want me cash? You ain't getting no damn ten dollars because I ain't got them damn three dollars cash app yet. I know. I- <laughs> <laughs> Can't cash out. That's three dollars. But I can't say that's my good husband on the TikTok though, and my, and my sister Glow. I love Glow and um Aries. I can't say they that I get I get something from. I, and you know I, if I could get some, if the, I could do for them, I'll do for them. They show much. They show much love. That's right, baby. You already know. Hey, look, and we ain't known each other for no twenty years. So like, nah. But I know. I know he's funny. He keep you laughing. <laughs> he, he he be. You can't go. You won't have a dull moment with Aries. Just know that. And that's what's up. And, and, I, hate, and I ain't gonna lie. I was looking forward to going um to the meet and greet and um in a lab, but I got to take care of some more health issues. I got you. And you boy, that was gonna be the first thing I gonna hug and say, "Oh, it's real." <laughs> oh, <God>, it's real. <laughs> No filters or nothing. 
That's what we need to talk about next week. Hey, yeah, hey, let's hey, go. Hey, what the hell hey, I want to do? I'm so sorry. I love you, but you know you got a health man. We're going to have to. I, he said, I need a place to stay. I can come stay with time. Oh, no. That is going have on that. <laughs> and we used to man on his house. He said, whatever he say, it goes. That's what's up. He should have never said that. Whatever he say, he said it goes. That stuff right here. That's just like telling a child. When I when you get 18, I'm gonna give you a five hundred dollars. You think that child ain't gonna remember that shit? Yeah, yeah, they gonna remember that. <laughs> so I remember he said you need a place to stay. You have TT talking about quit swelling his head up. TT said quit swelling his head. Now, baby, hey, which one, TT? Now, baby, he fit. Look, he fit the one. He wearing it good, baby. I'm gonna have to get it to him, baby. <laughs> About to be 52 next month, too. You're right, baby. And how are you in, Tyrone? I'm 51. Yeah. Same, man. And both of y'all, both of y'all living it well. Oh, Good yeah. thing y'all. Good thing I gave my life to Christ. Because <laughs> <laughs> I have to have both of y'all. You see what I'm talking about, T? You see what I have to deal with? You're still alive. <laughs> My grandma might see this girl. I'm just playing with you. I don't care. I'm just playing with you. I never care about what people say. Cause they you know say, why, they like, why you so, how you make money and you so skinny? Easy. Ooh. I ain't got no Ooh. weight to carry. There you are. <laughs> hey, I been drinking a lot of water. That's a few about yeah. right. Yeah. Hey, I drink a lot of water. Oh, shit. Man, y'all crazy. Look like grandma doing it too. TD said, Latrina said she's doing it too. <laughs> <laughs> we know who you are. Hey, man, I appreciate y'all, man. It was good tonight, man. I appreciate y'all answering That's the question. Me. Hey, if y'all got anything, any new questions y'all want to talk about, man, y'all inbox me, man, or tell me what we can talk about the next Wednesday, y'all. Y'all yeah, no come on with some topics, man. Put it out there so we can talk about it. And get that shit real, man. I appreciate y'all coming out of real talk, though, man. And everybody participate. We appreciate y'all too. Miss Sheila, Tyrone, we got to get ready to go because it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Would you be there? You go. <laughs> yes, I will be yours. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. Peace. All right, peace, peace out. out. Peace All out. right, Tyrone. All right.